Alright, hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well. I really do hope that. Welcome back to another Chelsea News video. That's right, Chelsea News. I have news. News, not speculation. I mean, you could say there's speculation involved, but stuff has been reported that I want to talk about. Chelsea are actually trying to negotiate a deal for Drews Mertens. There have been bids, tables, there are back and forth going on between Napoli and Chelsea. And although Drews Mertens does want to become Napoli's top scorer of all time, to which I think he's four goals off, London can tempt him for a few reasons. Also, Olivier Giroud, interestingly, after all the clubs he's been linked to, and agreed terms with, indeed people are into Milan, he could actually go to Lazio now and is very interested because there's a very lucrative and long-term contract on the table for the Frenchman. And what's more, Chelsea have agreed the move, but they're waiting to bring someone in before they can release him. And finally, I do want to talk about Ethan Ampadu, as Chelsea are apparently considering bringing him back from his loan to send him on loan again, but I find that interesting, so let's get into it. Oh yeah, a quick reminder to you guys there to subscribe to the channel. If you're new, please do sub to Football Therapy. Make sure you do hit the bell notifications icon. Help a brother out. Why not like the video? Right, let's get into it. Right, before we talk about Olivier Giroud and Drews Mertens, I do want to comment on Ethan Ampadu because he's a little bit of the forgotten man, the forgotten young man. Pre-season, before he went to RB Leipzig, he... I don't know, Frank Lampard says I really, really rate this youngster highly, but I'm sending him on loan because I think this loan could be great for him. We all thought it could be a great loan for him. Leipzig played young players, a competitive team in the Bundesliga, who are indeed now in a title race, and Julian Nagelsmann went there, who likes playing young players as well. We can all safely say and agree it's been a failed loan move and he hasn't got enough minutes and really he's not being integrated into the side. So naturally Chelsea are looking at this sort of outcome of what's happened there and they're thinking of recalling him to send him on loan to Bristol City. Now in reality that's probably a good move. It's championship football to harden him up a little bit and remind him what English football is like. Regardless, even if he didn't play much football out in Germany, it probably was a positive growing experience for him. Certainly, something changed because he shaved those dreads off and <laughs> even though we all know he's cut his hair, the first time he steps back on the pitch for Chelsea, you're going to be like, oh yeah, he looks weird, but I'm looking forward to it. I just wanted to talk about him in this video quickly because I genuinely rate him so, so highly as mainly a centre-back, but indeed a defensive midfielder and I'm looking forward to seeing Ethan Ampadu eventually come into the Chelsea side, which in my opinion, he absolutely will. Right, let's talk about Olivier Giroud next, the man who's been desperate to find a way out of Chelsea Football Club, not because he hasn't got any disdain for the South West London club, I think it's because he needs time. We all know he's, he's the front man for Didier Deschamps France, but he needs to be playing to secure that position uh, for the summer in the Euros. So he needs football, he'd been linked with Aston Villa, West Ham, Lyon, most heavily up until now with Inter Milan, Conte is Inter Milan, who really, really wanted to get him over the line. I think Giroud was happy to join as well. But step forward, the latest suitor who Chelsea have been negotiating with, the Rome club Lazio. Now, they have been negotiating with Giroud and offered him a three and a half year deal, which is actually, considering his age, an excellent contract. If he's happy with the wages as well, Chelsea probably, you know, anyone over 30, they give 12 months. But I think Giroud's like 33. To, to give him like a contract that leads him into at least 36 years old, that's pretty mega. Granted, he's a World Cup winner and he's in really good physical shape still. But that's a mega contract. And this kind of deal reinforces um, the stereotype of how Syria lets players play for longer and gives, you know, older players longer contracts. So Giroud accepted the contract and wants to go and Chelsea have come to an agreement with Lazio to, to, for it to happen. I think it's actually a six month loan with an obligation fee on top. It's something a little bit more complicated but it's a financial deal that suits Chelsea that they are happy with and that everyone can shake hands on it. Giroud, Lazio, Chelsea, it can happen but Chelsea still maintain the firm stance of he can only go once we bring a centre forward in. So let's talk about Dries Mertens. It's a weird one because over the last sort of 24 hours, he's, his name came up. I did a video on it yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go back and watch it because personally, I love Dries Mertens and I think he would be the perfect player to come into Chelsea for like 
you know, six months, 18 months, and play across the front three, number 10, striker. There's loads and loads of reasons why I love him. Like I said, if you haven't watched the video I posted yesterday, go back and watch it. Certain Italian journalists were coming out saying, yeah, something's going on there. Some were saying no. Alfredo Padula has said a couple of times on social media, he's tweeted a couple of times how it's nonsense, there's nothing going on there, he wants to break the scoring record. It's all smoke, it's all noise. But he's been wrong about Chelsea before, and there's been other reporters saying things like Di Marzio, who generally is a very, very reliable source. Di Marzio has confirmed that Chelsea's first offer of 6 to 7 million euros for Dries Mertens has been rejected by Napoli. Simon Phillips on Twitter also confirms that Di Marzio said Chelsea rejected the counter-proposal to allow the sale but keep Mertens on loan on Napoli at the end of the summer. So that's counterintuitive. They need him to reinforce their season now. I think uh, Napoli probably would have given Chelsea like a really good deal so he could hopefully you know, beat the scoring record, maybe. But like I said, it completely defeats the point of getting a player in now to help enforce the rest of the season. So as things stand with Giroud to Lazio, everything is related to Mertens and his possible transfer to Chelsea. I'm citing another Italian translation here. The English club has asked the Belgium to Napoli. I think that's about Napoli, or they've asked <laughs> Napoli about the Belgium. Translations are weird. Who for now do not want to sell him. In the event that De Laurentiis were open to a sale, a window would open for another negotiation, which is the time to concern Lazio. Okay, so these like Google Translate moments for Italian press is complicated, but it's saying if De Laurentiis was prepared to sell, then the deal with Lazio would go ahead. Everything therefore depends on the sale of Mertens in the Premier League. So what do we know? We know Chelsea are negotiating a deal with Napoli. The fact is they must have made some sort of contact with the Belgian forward. They've seen a bid of up to 8 million euros reported rejected. Now Chelsea will probably come back with an increased bid. Who knows, 10, 15 million? I think Chelsea should go up to 15 million pounds personally, considering how important he could be for Chelsea's season moving on and how much money they should have for transfers. For an 18 month contract and a backup player with immense quality like Dries Mertens, 15 million pounds is not much at all. It's the same amount of money Chelsea paid for Ross Barkley and that was considered a bargain. The next question is, would Dries Mertens want to come to the Premier League? Well, so far I've read on certain reports that yes, he would be interested, but there's no further detail on that. I understand how there's been a lot of turbulence and trouble in Naples with him playing for Napoli, even though he's considered like their boy, the golden boy. Like I said, four goals off the top, uh, for the record of the top scorer. But apparently London does appeal to him. Like I've said in previous videos, he's fluent in English, so he'll have no problem understanding tactical instruction from the coaches or integrating with the squad. He's mates with Jorginho. Obviously, he'll be quite close to Michy Batshuayi due to the Belgian squad. And he might see this as an opportunity to do something different. He's been at Napoli for a long time and Chelsea aren't like a defensive side. When there's a side that are looking for an attacker that creates a lot of chances, inherently that's appealing to a forward. Think about it. It's difficult to go to a defensive side, especially if you're getting older and you score goals. But if he says, look, these Chelsea players are creating all these chances and not just finishing them off, I could do that. I could fit in. I know a few people there. It could make sense, you know, Chelsea, even though they might not give him a long contract, Chelsea might pay Jules Mertens a lot of money. And who knows, when he's 35 or whenever, when his contract runs out, he could then go to like an MLS or who knows, maybe even back to Italy if his pro player profile is still big. Still, it's an interesting one. I was sort of, I never gave up on the thought that Chelsea weren't negotiating deals because Chelsea are always talking to people. If there's one thing I've learned, they're always in contact with many different agents and players throughout a window. They just don't like getting mugged off. And I've maintained like these last few videos, Chelsea do 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 a lot of uh, business on transfer deadline day, which is tomorrow. So just because Chelsea are down, they're not out. It could still happen. It's really if the players agreeable to it, then it can happen. Remember, Giroud, Chelsea have agreed a deal for Giroud now. They've shaken hands and they're like, yes, he can go. Remember Frank Lampard was talking about Giroud all throughout this window and indeed before. He would only go if all parties are happy. When it comes to Giroud now, all parties are happy. But he can only go if they bring someone in. So Chelsea will be going in hard for that and hopefully 
they can get someone over the line, whether that be Dries Mertens or whether that be someone else they're talking to in the background. Personally, I think if the player himself can be tempted to Chelsea, if he can be, so, you know what, I'll take that contract, I'll come to Chelsea's football club, I think the deal can be done. Sure, De Laurentiis will be a tough person to negotiate with, especially after the Maurizio Sarri saga with Chelsea getting him. But if he finds a way to make an offer he can't refuse, if he gets 15 million euros for a player who's got six months left on his contract, I think he'll just do it. He'll make the money. He'll want to make the money. He'll probably feel like he's doing Chelsea over again after they did him over with Maurizio Sarri and tapping him up. So I can, if, provided the player can have his head turned, I genuinely think this deal can happen. Still, it might not. Who knows? Watch my last video for to hear my speculation of what will happen if Chelsea don't sign anyone else in this window and have to continue with the same squad throughout the rest of the season. That was my last upload. Go check that out. Also, I want to hear your opinion, so make sure you do get down into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts on the situation with Mertens and these Italian reports and Giroud going to Lazio. What do you think about Ethan Ampadu? Would you like to see him back in the Chelsea squad? Do you think he's got what it takes to be a Chelsea player? get down in the comments and let me know. Of course, if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. Remember to subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Instagram if you want to talk to me on the live streams at Football Yannick on Instagram. That is it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football. Swing by every day. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby.